Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're doing a tour of my home theater. Coming up. Before we get started with today's video of my home theater, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to people who have helped me along the way to with my YouTube channel and also with the products that uh, I'll be showing today. Uh, check out Techno Dad's videos, Youth Man's videos, Subwoofer 101, and that home theater dude. So let's begin the tour. So with this tour, we're gonna start with the front of the uh, room or the screen and the front two uh, center channel speakers are sitting. So I will switch screens so we are facing that way. So here's my screen that I have done uh, on my own. It's a DIY screen. Uh, I use blackout fabric and I also use uh, the um, uh, black velvet um, border, the double t a double sided tape border. So if anyone uh, wants to get any of that stuff, it goes on pretty nice. Uh, I've chose a three inch because I started out with a 115 inch TV uh, screen, I'm sorry. And I trimmed it down to 112 just because I just think that 115 is just a little bit too big. Um, I got all that stuff from amazon.com. So if you are interested in getting that kind of a, a fabric, that's where you get it from. The curtains I have here, they are also velvet. Uh, Hobby Lobby, that's where I get all that stuff from. So um, I've had my mom tailor made them a little bit so they fit with the rods. So, and up on top here, I still have to put another strip up there. Um, one I had previous up there, it got all bent up and broke. So, got to redo it. So, now we'll make our way down to the bottom. And here, it sits a lone uh, Yamo uh, bookshelf speaker that I currently use. Um, just because I do not have the other uh, center channel that I'm looking to purchase, which is this C2 from Emotiva, the uh, Air Motive line. This is an awesome center channel. I recommend it very highly. And then next to that, I have a C1 center channel. Very good for dialogue and uh, handles everything else pretty well too. So in the future, which in, I would say in the next month or so, uh, that thing there, this Yamo here will be gone. So, all right, moving on to the bottom part of my stuff here. Uh, the shelving here, I have, uh, I put this all together down here too as well. Got that from uh, Ikea uh, down in Milwaukee. So uh, go to Ikea.com and to the uh, media center section. So here I'll open up a few of them here. Here's where I got some of my movies and Blu-rays and stuff like that. Um, don't I have a whole lot? I'm very picky as to what I pick up. Make sure I watch them all the time. And then, uh, didn't have nothing in that one. Yeah, I just have a few more. Uh, this is a big stack of my Indiana Jones. Sorry, if you can't see that. My Indiana Jones Blu-ray and the old style collection as well. Moving on, last drawer here I got going. Uh, I got this foam for the back of the speakers here. Uh, I still haven't uh, put them up yet because I'm not sure um, how to use them just yet. So uh, if someone has uh, any ideas or suggestions as to uh, where I should put them on, put them down in the comments down below. Moving on. Stuff over here on the wall. Uh, here again, I also got these from uh, my local uh, Hobby Lobby shop. Uh, they got a lot of good stuff there. Uh, HobbyLobby.com if you want to go there. Uh, very cool. Um, it's just a lot of neat uh, uh, theater uh, memorabilia. Here's my uh, uh, Dynamo uh, 300 Mart Logan subwoofer. Uh, this sounds very well. Does very good with my uh, center channel speakers. Um, Gives a little thump to my room. Uh, I plan on getting a second one from Amazon.com. Uh, relatively good price. And I'm going to stick that one over here. On the other side of the rack. I think it'll look pretty decent over here. On these right here, I have my uh, posters I like. 
I have the uh, Indiana Jones classic poster. Uh, also like Doctor Who. Doctor Who is a very good uh, TV series. I also have uh, Star Wars. So and so now we move to the chairs. The chairs here I've gotten these from uh, a local furniture store. Um, they're very nice. They sit well. Very uh, poofy, if you want to ask me. But the bad thing is, is they're so far deep that I can't even get out of them. <laughs> so there's going to be an upgrade coming up here soon. Um, hopefully, you know, I can get back down to Milwaukee and uh, get my chairs from Ikea. I will uh, leave a photo in the, in the video as to what chairs I am looking to get. So that's the two chairs there. Le uh, recently, uh, if you've seen my first uh, video, uh, I had recently con uh, concrete for uh, flooring and I decided to put this kind of flooring down. Uh, it's linoleum. It sits very nice. Uh, gives a really nice look to it. And, uh, you know, it covers the floor uh, very well. Pretty inexpensive. Uh, here is my... Uh, Second row of seating, um, I plan on uh, getting a building a riser, uh, I believe 12 inches up and putting these up on there. Uh, just mainly because I want to keep the first front of the room where the screen is uh, pretty clear. Uh, beforehand I had these um, alongside the wall there in front of the screen, it just didn't look right. So as of right now I'm just using it as a couch. Same thing as what they are in the front, it's what they are in the back. So again, I'll probably get all four same chairs for uh, the new upgrade. In this section of the video, um, I'm going to be showing you what components I have. And uh, if you have any questions, that, uh, if you want any uh, reviews about any of these components or um, want to know what my setup is on uh, my media player, uh, I'll be most certainly happy to do a video on that as well. So let's get closer to the door here. And here we go. So starting out on the top here, here's my uh, Emotiva um, UPA5 that I keep talking about in my videos. This thing is heavy. I mean, we're talking 80 pounds, uh, just solid. Really great uh, amplifier. Uh, I'll keep this thing till it dies. So. Uh, plan on probably getting a uh, Basics uh, A700 uh, amplifier just to round out the room for the Atmos that uh, it will be coming hopefully in the near future, uh, depending on how cash flow is. Moving on down, I have the uh, uh, Yamaha RXV667. Uh, in my previous videos, you saw I was using the... Uh, <clears throat> Marantz uh, SR6012. I also was using the uh, Marantz um, AV7704, which most likely I'll probably end up going to the uh, 7704 just because I think it just handles a, a really good job of pairing with my amplifier. Moving on down, I have uh, a Panamax uh, 5300CX. For my power surge, um, done a good job. I'm sure it's time for an upgrade, so prices come down, I'll pick one up. Here I have my uh, Panasonic uh, Blu-ray player. It's an older model. It's the BT210. It does the 3D uh, video processing and all that stuff too. Uh, has the analog outs in the back of it. Does a good job. Um, Right now I'm only doing Blu-rays because I do not have a uh, uh, 4K UHD Blu-ray player. Uh, Got to save up money for that. Quite not sure which one I'm going to get anyways. I kind of want to get back to the Panasonic UHD players if I could. So possibly the 820 in the future. Moving on down. Uh, here's my Linky's uh, Wi-Fi wi router. Love that thing. Does a super, super job. Covers the house very well. Uh, and then over here to the left of it, I'm using a uh, uh, NVIDIA Shield. Now, if anybody wants a video on 
what my setup is for my NVIDIA Shield, I'll be more than happy to do a video on that. That thing is awesome. That is about the best media player out there. Um, I know a lot of people use Fire Sticks. I use Fire Sticks as well. I have three of those around the house. Uh, don't really get into Roku stuff. Don't really care for that uh, uh, system at all. It just doesn't work very well for me. It's a little bit on the slow side. This thing, the NVIDIA Shield, though, it is super, super fast if you get it set up the correct way. Moving on down, I have another drawer of nothing but cords and my uh, microphone set up for my uh, Yamaha uh, receiver. On top here on this table that I got also from Ikea, you know, kind of the trend I'm going here, kind of like an all Kia room. Uh, I'm using a uh, Harmony uh 900 it's a great remote and then you got the projector remote the panasonic uh blu-ray player remote also i have here it's kind of hard to see but it is my nvidia shield remote which i don't use that very often uh that's just because i have my uh, game controller that came with the system as well got a great deal on it uh paid 199 dollars for it so at the time, they were going for about 250 So, moving on up. I got my Wizard of Oz poster. Another uh, home theater clock from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. Another little thing from Hobby Lobby. And on the side here is uh, one of the three Yamos that are left. Uh, this is my dipole speakers. Uh, they sound okay for the money that I paid for them. I've had them since I started uh, my home theater, which was about around 2005. So, over here is my uh, other uh, Yamo uh, dipole speaker. Uh, dipoles, are to be, are the way to kind of go. It gives you a good uh, a roundabout sound for the room. Um, just solid connection it's just very nice i'm waiting to uh upgrade these i'll be doing the uh, uh emotiva's uh e2 uh dipole bipole uh speakers um when i get the chance to get those moving on down i got the dark knight uh poster here a couple little more things from uh hobby lobby and then i have my ghostbusters poster Moving on to the back. Uh, here I have a sliding door. Um, I like this. It's very nice and convenient. Uh, I have two exits in the room. Here is this is in the back of the room. And then I have that one over there in the middle of the room, which goes towards the laundry. And the wall here, again, a couple more things from uh, Hobby Lobby. Just a little stuff to uh, fill up the walls. And then here I use my uh, uh, Lutron dimmers. I have two of them for one for the back, one for the front. Uh, I like these a lot. These uh, are now pretty good at affordable price. I think they're about, uh, I want to say $30 to $40. You get them, up, get them pretty much anywhere, like Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, and uh, Menards. So up here I have my uh, E1 surround sound. They sound fantastic. Um, I'm thinking about using these for my uh, Dolby Atmos and my DTS-X. Just not quite sure if I'm ready to have a uh, box speaker above uh, in the ceiling. Um, I'm thinking maybe I might go to Helos for uh, in-wall or in-ceiling speakers. Uh, if anybody's got any suggestions, just uh, uh, leave the comments down below, please. So moving on to the back here, I got some stuff from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, really neat stuff that they got there. Check them out, HobbyLobby.com. Down here, uh, I have my little uh, popcorn machine that don't ever use it, just use it for show. And then my couple of my little toys that I like to, uh, you know, prompt up in the back. I got my Evil Dead uh, lunchbox, um, Evil Dead pop. 
um, and the uh, uh, Jason Voorhees, which is my son's, by the way, but uh, he likes that too. I'm a big Bruce Campbell fan, so uh, anytime I can get some my hands on some of the stuff, uh, I'll get it. So, and then as you move up here, here's the other E1 surround sound. Um, like I said, great speakers. Move on down. Uh, this is where I keep most of my uh, blankets and stuff. It does get cold down here, so um, I do have to have uh, quite a few on hand. So some things need to be finished down here yet. As you can see, I don't have any baseboards on there. It's just because I'm uh, waiting for somebody to come and install them for me. Uh, you know, that stuff is something I just don't mess with. Here's the star of the show by Front Projector. I'm currently using a Epson uh, 8350. Uh, this is a 2010 uh, Epson projector. Uh, still works great on my second bulb. Um, gives off a great picture. Someday I will upgrade to a 4K projector. Uh, just got to wait for the prices to drop a little bit till it's more affordable. Um, not sure if I'm going to go with the DLP or not. Uh, don't really have the space for it. I has to be way up front, but I'm not too keen on, uh, having a projector way up front. Uh, so for now I'll stick with a, uh, uh, a long dis long throw, uh, projector and, uh, who knows if anybody's got any suggestions that, uh, they think I should upgrade to, uh, leave the comments down below. So, there you have it. Tour of my home theater. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, leave comments down below. I'll try and leave links of stuff that, uh, uh, that is in my home theater. And, uh, you know, if this is your first time to my channel, click that subscribe button. Tap that bell notification so you don't miss a beat when the next video drops. So, like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day. Keep watching.